Hello guys, it's Mr. J, also known as Mr. Rage, and this time, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading, like, I have been busy, but what the heck are you looking at, lady? I'll teach you. Anyway, like I was saying, so, I've just been busy, and... I've also kind of been addicted to playing ARK, and I know some of you guys are going to say, well, just upload ARK videos. Like, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll do a recording session with me and the boys tonight. I don't know. But anyway, for right now, we're going to do some Vice City, and we're going to buy this ice cream factory here. Cherry Popper Ice Creams. Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? Uh, what are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew wrong with you? it. A child. A dirty, stinking, sniffling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little boo who mommy doesn't love you. You little shit. Watch it. Ow, calm down. I hate babies, and I hate children. They're dirty, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking Enough little... already! What is wrong with you? You make soft ice cream, okay? It's purely for kids. What kind of psycho are you? Just so I understand this, why make children happy if you oh, hate them? Oh, you stupid, sniveling, snotting... Shut, Shut up! up. Rat! The ice cream is a front. We distribute other non-dairy products. And if I see a kid, I put him to good use. Don't die, kiddies. Yes, yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. What a nice lady. Still, you know, I hear there's good money in ice cream. You know, I can't help but wonder if, uh... I remember Hillary talking about he had mommy issues. I wonder. Anyway. Let's get this thing done. Use your Mr. Wolf event to distribute cherry prop, pop, popper's products around by city. Receive money for each transaction you make, but the more transactions you make, the more police attention you get. When you do transaction parts of them. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to mute that for copyright. That's an MJ song. But anyway, before I, before I uh, forget, I better uh, close it. Let's try it here. I didn't think they could do that.
hear that the docks is a good place to sell the ice cream. customers. the uh, required amount before you start making money off the place. Yo, you in my way, dog? Oh yeah, we can buy this place too. I'll have to come back here later. Compared to the rest of the game, this actually ain't so bad. It's pretty relaxing. We can tolerate the ice cream, so... Oh, crap, 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 crap! Damn it! Damn it! Crap, we got three stars. This is just great. Oh, boy. What are you doing? And deploying spice drifts for an ice cream truck. It's just ice cream, officer! it up and the goal is 50 is 50 gears. Also the, I looked it up when I was looking it up it mentioned a glitch in the original PS2 version where if you saved your game at that place it would it would it would corrupt your save file. I mean could you imagine making it through all of this coming all the coming all this way only to, what the hell are you doing? Only to get it completely erased, messed up because of some developer problem. I mean, I know nowadays Rockstar doesn't care for their player base, but still, I mean, like if something like that happened to me, I'd be pretty freaking PO'd. Another thing I looked up is that if you do get too much police heat on you, you can go into a into a uh, pay and spray. A pay and spray. Sorry. So the main thing about here in Vice City is that is all about the business mansion, and part of that. A lot of that is inspired by Scarface. I mean, obviously Tony Montana never drove drove around an ice cream truck, but he was dishwasher at some point. Hey, yo, yo, move. You know, before he got into the drugs, I mean. Well, yeah. 
was only after that deal, it was only afterwards they met those guys outside, that, they, that him and his brothers went to that deal. They met that Colombian in the hotel room, and they got a, and they got a rude reception. Say, say, Okay, ice cream factory asset completed. Cherry Popper factory will generate revenue up to 3,000. Make sure you collect it regularly. You, you boys go ahead and fight it out. I'll be, I'll be back later. All right. So I think the next business I'm gonna buy here is this boathouse. Let's see. The boat yard. Hello. 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 Look at that. There's a dude here. <coughs> hey, suit dude. I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower and engine. And a fiberglass hull. She just shoots through the waves. She can do like zero to 60 in four seconds flat, oh, dude. And she can hold like 20 bales of the best Jamaican yeah, smoke yeah. right in the hull. So go ahead, dude. She's ready to fly. Yo, yo, uh, suit dude. You got a light? Nah. Dude. Dude. Nah, dude. Oh, you are purchased. Sorry for the background noise, guys. Like I said, I try to record at night, but lately, whenever, whenever I'm on around nighttime, I always play at arc. Checkpoint Joe. Click the package in four time limits out. So it's basically that mission with Umberto, with, uh, where I had to prove I had. Where I had to prove the size of my cojones. How many of these am I supposed to collect? I remember right there's an Easter egg of, of a fat guy with, with cement wearing cement shoes. Somewhere around here. Oh boy. Ah, that's how I how I went through. Right, let's go back around. Ah. I have to make an extra punish, don't I? Alright. It's okay. Build up the speed. See if I can angle it right. Come on. Okay. Alright, we'll 
we'll try it again. Oh, come on. you collect it regularly. You know, I don't feel like this was worth it, to be honest. <sighs> but whatever. At least it's done. Okay, so one of the best ways to make money in this game is, is to do the taxi driver missions. I know because I looked it up. As long as you don't wreck the car. And I've actually tried this out myself. Eventually, you will be able to buy your own taxi fee. But that's why we're doing this. Okay, uh, yeah, there's one right here. Also, this timer keeps ticking down. You'll get more time as you complete fares, or as you pick up fares, I should say, and, uh, yeah. So, I read that in San Andreas, you get a penalty for driving recklessly, but here in Vice City, you get you get a speed bonus if you get him there quickly. No matter how much you damage the taxi. You know, I was thinking a bit about taxi drivers back in, back in these days. Back in these days, it would have been simple. You would have just had to save up money to buy a license or something, buy a, buy a, buy a plate, I guess. It's like, I'm not totally sure how it went in the 80s, but I know that in the 30s, all you had to do was save up for one and then, oh, then just buy a taxi. Either that or you'd get one. I'm assuming you'd have to buy one. Still, you compare this nowadays. You gotta wear a mask while you're driving, you gotta probably have your COVID shots and all that. You gotta you gotta have every and don't even get me started on costs. Hey, hey. And that's not even factoring in stuff like Uber and things like that that are just that are just you know outdating the industry, making it all obsolete. So stuff like that would uh I don't know company like that were to go out of business, I could see a resurgence in, in cab companies.
<sighs> I mean, I've only ridden a taxi once, like, like when I was leaving on my last day of the job at Home Depot. After I pretty much, after I uh, got laid off or something like that. It's complicated. But let's just say I got laid off. Anyway. Ah. Sorry, construction worker. No, don't flip on me. Don't flip on me, freaking car. Get out of the car, Tommy. Come on. Ah, I hate that. Ah. Pastor fled there, of course. Freaking ass cars, man. Where the heck's a fair? Cars trash get repaired. Of course it is. Oh, this is pathetic. Okay, pain's burning. Yeah, that happens. If your car gets too damaged, they're gonna, they're gonna, your pastor ain't gonna stick around. Same place as before. Alright. We don't got much time, but I'll see what I can do. Move it! It's like the wrong way. On freaking believe. Get this baby patched up. Yeah. 
properties. Well, anyway, I thought I might show off these properties here. Apparently, you can buy properties. Like, you can buy businesses and all that, but you can actually buy properties in this game. And this is something that carried over in San Andreas. My boys told me about it. So, uh, let's see. 25 grand, okay. I mean, uh, 25,000. Yeah, he's not going to need it. I should save my game first, just in case. Okay, so the nice thing about this game is that once you get enough businesses, and once you drive around long enough, you can get, you can get yourself a good, good sum of money. Which we're going to use to buy this cab depot here. Oh wait, this is a print box. Okay, well. I guess we'll do the cab depot another time. Let me save it again. It's always good if you have multiple save files, which is good. In case one gets corrupted, it's always good to save twice. Splitting the beans, or spilling the beans. Mr. Vassetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was gonna follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, with just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors. He's talking about Kent Paul. All right, I guess we'll pay him a visit then. Use his coffin cat, take your destination set drive. Cost you $9. I was in the damn zone. Go meet Kemp Paul the Malibu Club. Alright. Dig me there, Mario. Grazie. Okay, I wish I could collect this while I'm here. Alright, Ken. On that. <laughs> nice. Oh, all right, girls, you're lost, mate, innit? All right, me old China. That's hanging. What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? Come here. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You're obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the plates. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. You know. They've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, oh, oh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks. Oh. Yeah, thanks, pal. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. All right. Chartered, li char chartered Libertine Lines. Okay. Shipping officer will have the information. Okay. Imagine that printing money back in the day must have, must have really something. And of course, there would have been the FBI and CIA and all those guys keeping an eye on things. The lady's trying to work here! That's not real work. Anyway, like I was saying. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. I've learned a bit from the professional. My understanding is that nowadays it'd be a lot harder because of the new technology they got, the serial numbers, scanners and all that. I remember from uh, I remember from when I was playing Yakuza Like a Dragon, they got this machine that's with this the triads in that game got this really super fancy machine that was able to was 
able to print exactly identical copies. Nowadays, stuff like, something like that existed IRL, and it could be worth millions, maybe even billions of dollars. Trillions of dollars. I've never. <laughs> but if they can come as close as they can, but yeah, with the right resources, the FBI and the CIA are going to figure it out eventually. You got to make sure it don't trace back to you. On the ship? Yeah, he's on the ship. Okay, I better pay him. Crap! Ah, it's these guys again. Why have to these guys? You guys caught me off guard last time, but that ain't happening again. Thanks for, thanks for your cooperation. All right, Ernest. 
walk around. And walk around. The asset incomplete yet. Better save. Sure. Oh, who's this? Sonny. Sonny. Obviously, you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gun? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. You sure? Cause I am. <laughs> Hit the courier. Hey, Lance. All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm gonna go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back. Got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. Thanks, Lance. All right, everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later. All right. So once this is done, we should have the green rolling up. We should have the green ready. Netflix, Cruise, Marvel, Doss, Helicopter, any second. Okay, you got it. You know, it's kind of funny. Here we are intercepting a courier over at the docks. And when Tommy first arrived here, he was at a drug deal that got intercepted by some hitmen. Working for Mr. Diaz, no less. Oh, crap, crap, crap! Run, Tommy! Ah! Ah! Damn, what the hell? They didn't tell me they'd be armed. Ah. Actually, I better bring you close. Just to be safe. What the hell? Oh! This took 60 of my health away. Oh, that's why. <laughs> what the hell's the range on that? Get up, Tommy! Let's get out of here. Jeez, for a bunch of business suits, these guys are def these guys these guys definitely came packing. Doesn't matter though. <sighs> I tell you, taking on a counterfeit fitting syndicate like this is dangerous, man. Especially if you know they're gonna track you down. You gotta, you gotta make sure you got the protection, but also like, make sure they're not gonna try to have you killed out in the open, out in public. Better to wipe them out before they wipe you out. But anyway, Pitworks asset complete. Hey, this is Barbara.
Grimworks now generate a revenue up to a maximum of eight grand. Make sure you collect the great bill. Nice. Alright. We're doing good. Doing real good. All we gotta do is collect a got to collect a ton of money and use that to buy up the rest of the business. I guess I can just about three more so. Tommy, 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 I had Sonny on the phone, okay? Are you with me? I don't know about you, but there's something about a man threatening to murder my family which really scares the crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Ken, take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice. Yeah, I don't believe you can. What hardware we got? Jesus. Uh, so anyway, like I said, sorry I haven't been uploading lately, guys. It's just been, I tell you, got all this family drama, all this, uh, all this stuff to take care of. Move itself is stressful enough. But, you know, when you got conflicting personalities, conflicting needs and interests, it just makes it all the worse. I'd be content if I never had to move again. Although I may have to once if I ever get my own place. So, still on the bright side, I won't be taking my family with me. But anyway, enough about that. I'm Mr. J, also known as Mr. Rage, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care, peace out, and God bless. See ya.